Good morning. Today is uh, Monday, December 7th, and it feels like a good day to solve a crossword puzzle with you folks. And we've got the New York Times Monday puzzle constructed by Barbara Lynn. And it's Monday, so mm, typically pretty straightforward on the solve, but uh, let's do it. Message to the office staff is a memo. An old South American empire is uh, the Inca empire, I bet. Uh, mosquitoes and gnats are pests. Group that sells oil benchmarks is OPEC. Start a game of cards is deal. American living abroad is an expat. Traveled by subway. It's interesting. So let's see what we've got down here. Mows the grass. Fencing sword is an epi. An Amish cousin is a menin, Mennonite. Well, I, I might have spelled that wrong in several ways. Uh, Mexican mister. Okay, so senor men. Let's try this. Mennonite. Mennonite. <laughs> Great content, huh? Tentacled sea creatures are octopi. <clears throat> I do judge. The latest is news. Jargon. Not sure what that is. Share is an alto. Remove is a sticker. Peel off a sticker. I remember in high school, someone put a bumper sticker on my car, a bumper sticker that I did not want on my car. And uh, to peel it off was not easy. Don't recommend putting stickers on your car unless you're sure you want them there. Part of an office telephone number is an extension. <clears throat> Period of rapid growth. Spurt. It's a no-no. Taboo. Like some ski slopes and prices. Steep. Steep ski slopes are the best ski slopes, in my opinion. Uh, pharmacy offerings are drugs. Went down the tube. Traveled by subway. Went down the tube. That's pretty nice. Uh, let's see what we got here. Seat at the bar is a stool. So can't is jargon. That's interesting. Can't. Hmm. Uh, certain Pueblo dweller is a Hopi Indian. Recovering hospital patient is post-op after your operation. You can call the elevator for me. Can I get a lift? <clears throat> Good. I like this. This is nice. Good, good Monday level theme. Theme in quotes. Ending of seven Asian countries' names is Stan. Uh, four ordained. Four ordained. Hmm. Oh, fated maybe. Fated. Let's see what else, what else we got here. Japanese sash. I think is an ob. A piece of pizza is a slice of pizza. Big fan of those. Item in a purse is a coin. Whom um, Cain slew. Cain slew his brother Abel. He was not, in fact, his brother's keeper. Uh, so this something looks very wrong here. Um, Chrissy, I have no idea, but I-E-T would seem unlikely. Uh, Self-evaluation. Pet peeves are fleas. A wine region is Napa, California. Dickens is, oof, um, boy. So, I mean, this is very confusing. Like, that's got to be coin, and that's got to be able, and that's got to be Mennonite, right? <clears throat> Drawers for money are kills. Nails to the test. Nail the test is to ace it. A dog walker needs a leash. Reason more people move to the Cayman Islands. Tax breaks. More than amazing epic. Uh, let's see. Afternoon is a is Kai, Kai, Sai. I don't remember. I'm not really even sure. Is it Kai would be C H I. So 
I have no idea how to say this word. Zai. <laughs> um, dash. Uh, microwaves. So I'm having a, that's that's a pretty tricky little Monday section. I wonder. I'm curious what that's going to turn out to be. Uh, long stemmed rows. Hurricane that was the subject of 2006 when the levees broke. Uh, Katrina. Let's see. Naughty and nice are lists for Santa. Hand me a flashlight. Pass the torch. Gee, so attach. Tax. Admits, an, admits as an offense, like cops too. A pouty expression is um, like, um, is it like, yeah, mo I'm not really sure how to say that, but <clears throat> I think that's what it is. Person that speaks in beeps and boops is a robot. Home that my mouth is an igloo. Use French fries as legal tender. Not sure about that. Orion has a belt. Oops. Good amount of land to build on. I'll say that's probably an acre, which you know, this is one of those things that really depends on your perspective. If you live in the suburbs and one acre lot would be gigantic. Um, if you live in a more rural place, one acre is not all that big. Um, to each his own. <clears throat> Insurance giant is Etna. Worker paid by the day, maybe is probably a temp worker. Here's so the may have a pick is an Afro. Tax relief, not tax breaks. Microwaves must be zaps. So let's see. I'm gonna say this is wrong. So a comb must be the thing in a purse, the item in a purse. Bleak house. Wow, that's that's bleak. When you're bleak, you're bleak. George Costanza. Any minute now, soon, <clears throat> should Otta, hot opera ski beverage, cocoa, <clears throat> alternative to Midway's O'Hare, put forward as a theory is to posit a theory. Dingy or Dory is a boat. First word of a fairy tale, once upon a time. Six years is a term for a senator. Abbreviation on a zero button. This is, feels so dated, operator. Asobuko. Sweet pie pun and a leaf turning time is September. Oh boy. Um, wow. So first off, I'd like to say this is a very difficult Monday. I can't believe that I have a mistake here. Um, but apparently I do. Um, and that's awkward. This is like so stressful when this happens because now I'm just standing here like an idiot and um, I got to find my mistake, but I have no idea where it is. Sto stoic. Uh, stoic. Jesus. Um, well, we did it and we avoided having too much of an awkward uh, look around there at the end. Uh, Monday complete in 754. Um, this is a very difficult Monday. I I'm surprised. Um, I like the, I like the sort of, you know, I'm not really going to call it a theme, but, um, went down the tube. Can I get a lift past the torch and cash in one's chips? Those are all nice expressions and they, they have good wordplay. Um, but there's a couple of tough, I mean, this year, I mean, there's no such thing as a comb purse, right? But there is such a thing as a coin purse. And when you've got C and O, uh, boy, that sure does look like coin. Um, especially, you know, difficult crossing this um, Mets clue, which is, you know, Chrissy of This Is Us. This Is Us is a huge show, and I'm sure that's a very well-known name, but I didn't know it. Um, so Mets and then Bleak House, Dickens is Bleak House, Crossing Mennonite. That's that's really tough. Um, of course, that wasn't where my issue was. Uh, I was over here. I had a D instead of this S for whatever reason. Um, there feels like a lot of trivia here. Uh, you know, there's some stuff that's like, <clears throat> you know, old South American Empire. 
Um, there's a couple of options and there's nothing particularly interesting about that clue, right? It's, it's just kind of straight trivia. Same with like OB, Mets and Bleak both, um, you know, letter after new, like, I don't really know the Greek alphabet. Um, I'm familiar with all of the letters in it, but I don't really know their sequence. And, uh, so that's, you know, that feels pretty trivia trivial as well. Uh, Orion is fine. We see it all the time. Etna too. I mean, we see that pretty regularly. Um, this isn't brutally hard or anything. It just, you know, I think this would have been like over a five minute solve if I'd done it on my own, which is, uh, you know, that's probably like a seven out of 10 difficulty for a Monday. Um, but it's a nice theme with some good wordplay and there's no no real errors. Um, there's also like not very much short stuff, which is I'm a huge fan of these, this increasing trend lately of very few three letter answers. Um, this one appears to have, you know, like maybe around 10 or so. Um, I'd say anything 10 or fewer is, is a very low count on three letter answers. We've seen as many as like, I don't know, tw you know, over 20, which is just brutal. Um, anyways, appreciate you guys joining me. Uh, if you're interested in some more fantastic crossword puzzle content, you can find me at crossboss.blog and I'll continue posting these live solves as long as you guys keep watching them. Uh, so let me know what you liked and what you didn't like. Enjoy your week and have a great Monday. Bye.